Hi guys, it's me again. It feels like a long time since I last made a video, but it was just like maybe yesterday or two days ago. I have been busy and so everything is a whirlwind. And I guess that's just part of being an artist and a freelance um, person. You know, it gets to you and I know you lose track of time and you don't know what's going on but I just came home from a rehearsal from uh, this play that we're doing and I just realized that I have one major problem I have a lot of these it's not just three as a makeup artist I have a set for every day and I ran out so it means I have seven sets of brushes up for cleaning and I haven't cleaned any and my next job is on Monday which means I have to do a lot of cleaning this weekend so I decided to create um, this very easy makeup brush cleaner I know there are so many out there in the market but um, I am trying to live a sort of toxin-free lifestyle. I try to take into consideration clients with sensitive skin and I've recently worked on someone who makes her own brush cleaner. She um, is an esthetician in the States and she suggested this to me. So, are you ready? We are going to make... I... I... <laughs> I don't have graphics. <laughs> um, we are going to make a um, liquid makeup brush cleaner using the following products. Number one is a pump bottle because it's going to foam up. You know, I'm Filipino. We're so used to soaps that foam up, even if we know that it's really bad for our skin. So I feel like if it bubbles up, then it cleans more. Next is lavender. I know this is thieves month, but because I'm cleaning brushes, which I use on people's faces, I am. I just decided to use lavender for its um, properties to clean and to take out all the germs and stuff like that. So I chose this, not just because of that, because it's the Swiss army knife of all oils, but it is also good and se good for sensitive skin. So. Anything skin related, lavender is the oil for you, especially if you are prone to a lot of skin problems. So, pump bottle, lavender, the brushes to clean, and the secret ingredient, Castile soap. Of course, I got so much, but now that looking at it, maybe I should have gotten like a gallon or something because I'm going to use it for my body. I'm going to make like shampoo and stuff like that. So this one liter um, container of Castile will probably just last. I'm not sure. <laughs> but I got this from... Um, I can't read it. That's got this for me. Casa de Lorenzo organic products only in Pasig City. So um, she made me choose. They have lots of variants like coconut, pili, um, olive. They all have different properties and different uh, expertise. But um, this one is says cleansing because I think it's a combination of coconut oil which is good for cleansing and then uh, elemi which is good for moisturizing or something like that. hold on olive oil <laughs> there's no pd sorry <laughs> olive oil virgin coconut oil palm oil anyways this will clean up everything so oh and a bit of water i can't raise it okay i'll raise it up of water to dilute so in a pump bottle just use fill it up half I do 50 50 I know people who do like just one fourth of Castile but since I am cleaning makeup brushes I just want to be sure that all the product is out so here we go this is the first time using it so 
I'm trying to figure out how to open the bottle. <gasps> I think you have to like poke a hole. Okay. Hold on. I did not plan this. Did not plan this at all. Don't know how to open it. How? Hmm. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I did not plan this. Hold on. There you go. I got it. I got it. Just a couple more seconds. Whoop. Ah, there. It's not open yet. <laughs> but yeah, here. Got it. So pour up to like half. I hope I don't like spill it all out, but yes here we go oops this is more than half but i don't care that's fine the more the bubblier the better see i like bubbly personality then around five to six drops of lavender i don't know with you um i want them to fall asleep I want my clients to feel relaxed while I'm doing makeup. Um, I used to use this um, other brand of makeup cleaner and my clients just love the smell. So I want to be considerate of their um, noses and see if you know they're going to like this one. Because my client said her clients love it. So just fill it up with water and voila! Voila! You now have your own makeup brush cleaner. Now, a lot of people, shake, 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 a lot of people ask me how they should clean their brushes because they just buy and then it just takes five years and they haven't cleaned their brushes yet. The best way to clean a brush is to actually clean it facing down because there's glue on the stem, if you wash it like this, then you're putting a lot of moisture, a lot of water into that part. So always wash downwards, okay? Wash downwards with the flowing water. But of course, here in the Philippines, in especially in Manila, we have water shortage problem. So I love my life. So now with the cleaner that we just made, I have a demo, water spray. So we don't have to waste a lot of water. Just wet the brush a bit, get a bit of the soap, and just put it on your palm. So this is how I clean my brushes like normal. And in the sink, just swirl it around. And you'll see like the color is starting to transfer onto your palm. Mmm, lavender. And just swirl it around like under the faucet or just like this and then see I can see like the color has transferred into the foam okay it's it's bright so you can see it but yeah you'll see that it's clean and then of course for demo purposes I just wiped it on a towel and then what I'm gonna do is just spray it like so Make sure I get all the soap out and just rub it onto the towel. And see? Clean. Now it's up to you also if you want to clean the handle, but make sure it doesn't get soaked in water. And now if it's... Mmm, smells good. So if you have those stand, brush stands, to help it dry like this, then it's good. I just let it dry flat like this. Sometimes tilt it down with some, with like a book or something on a tray. And then just let it dry like this. And then it's good to go. And then you have a clean brush to use the next day. So, do you like our DIY for today? Wait for other DIYs from me and Tets throughout the next few weeks and if you want to learn something if you have any makeup questions i'll be glad to answer them in my next video so bye and good night